Hey Sweet Mr. Gypsy and welcome back to the channel for another part of my Sims 4 series, Life with Gabby, Single Mom. So guys, as you noticed from the beginning, we have a new arc to Gabby's life. She is a single mama and she's going to be, you know, just living her best life. I think that I want to keep Gabby single for a while. Now, that doesn't say that she's not going to go on dates. You know, I feel like she's a young woman. She's single for the first time and she wants to explore things. She wants to have fun and meet people, go on dates, have stuff where it's like no strings attached. You know, Gabby just wants to experience life and that's okay so Gabby is sitting at the table and she's having a little conversation she's laying down some laws and some rules to none other than our little sweet Marco now Marco has nowhere to live because he got kicked out obviously <laughs> he called off his engagement um so she's laying down some rules with Marco and she's kind of just telling him hey you can stay here what kind of mother would I be to put my son's father out on the street you know you're just gonna have to sleep in his room or you can sleep out in my office space and I don't think that went very well <laughs> you know I think Gabby's coming off a little strong I think she might have a little toot because she's feeling quite sad she's feeling sad about her relationship with Thomas because you know they did call things off he was a great guy and I think a lot of you all said it very well you're like Thomas has all of the boxes checked and Roxy actually stated it the best way possible like he had all those all the boxes checked but it's just Gabby's not ready she's still a young adult he's much older he's ready to settle down ready to be happy be married and that's just not what Gabby's looking for at the moment yes maybe in the future but as of right now no so she's not a bad person for calling it off she's actually a nice person because she didn't lead him on you know and hey Aldo can you uh come inside and clean your rodent's cage for me <laughs> But, you know, she's not a bad person for telling him straight up, like, hey, I'm sorry I accepted that ring. I know that I shouldn't have, and I apologize for that, and I just can't marry you right now. It's just not in the cards for me at the moment, and I think she knew that. I think she just had a lot of pressure. Why is there a dog bed in the kitchen? Oh my gosh, this is my bad. <laughs> Let me delete this. But obviously, when Marco came, also came his dog. So we have another dog in the house. We have Duke. Duke and Duchess have been together for years. So they're so happy to see one another. And they've just been enjoying each other's company. It's so sweet. Um, but Gabby is like, oh my gosh, my house is so mad and crazy right now. But, you know, she thinks that this will be good for Aldo because he never really, as a child, got to experience his parents. They were only together for a short while when he was a toddler. So I think that this is good. Um, but we do have a dog house out here in case one of the dogs wants to sleep outside. Maybe when it gets warmer, not now, of course, hopefully they won't go out there, <laughs> but yeah. So our house is a little busy right now and it's a little crowded, but that's okay. Gabby just knows that this is best and she's being a good woman by providing a place to stay for her her son's father. Um, but I do want to have her serve dinner. So I don't know why I had her walk in there. I'm thinking about chicken stir fry. I just had that last night. So it sounds amazing <laughs> to have again. So Gabby's going to come in here and she's going to prep some dinner. It's already 8:42, and it's getting kind of late. All oh, the doggy has to go outside. Hey son, can you let Duchess out for me? He's like, of course, mommy. So we're going to ask Duchess to go potty. He's like, can you go drop some poop outside for mama? <laughs> He's like, she's like, yeah, I gotta go poop. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course he likes video gaming. Um, but yeah, so I need to catch you guys up on some stuff. <laughs> so you all saw Diego came back and I know a lot of you all were hyped and psyched about it. So Diego is back officially. He is not romantically interested in Gabby though. So I know a lot of you guys were like, uh huh, shipping Diego. He's so sweet. He truly, I mean, at this moment. I'm not canceling him out in the future, but at this moment, he truly just only sees Gabby as a friend and he wants to help her. He teases her a lot because, you know, they've been friends for a long time, but, you know, he just sees her as a friend right now. He is actually in the dating world himself and they kind of talked about that when they were out to dinner and they kind of just joked around with one another and, you know, he told Gabby, hey, now you get to go out there. Maybe I'll bump into you or something. <laughs> and they just kind of laughed about it, but it looks like 
Aldo is explaining how he loves how both his parents are in the house. He's like, I'm just so happy that you and dad are both here. And Marco's like, hey, hun, you know, hey, son, you don't know how long this is going to last. So please don't get too attached to the idea. And Aldo is like, whatever, dad. Like, obviously, he got the negative food lit from it. But he was just telling his mom, like, hey, dad brought money, you know, to help pay bills. Like, this is a good thing, right? You don't have to pay the bills by yourself. <laughs> Guys, Gabby went to college, so she didn't have to have no man cover her bills. <laughs> but... Aldo needs to come in here and let these two have an adult conversation. I guess they're going to talk about his schoolwork or something, but I need to feed my little rat over here. So Aldo left the room for his parents to have conversations and they're just kind of in here joking around with each other while he does his homework. I love that their relationship is so playful now and they can just talk to each other and be in the same room without yelling at one another. It's, it's amazing, but I am going to have Gabby call everybody to the meal. Everybody get some dinner. I made the stir fry. It's ready <laughs> and we're gonna have little Gabby come in here and sit down and I do think oh my gosh yes I got my mirrorless camera so we need to add this to my favorites because you all know Gabby just started her new job so we have a lot of things that we are going to be doing now with Gabby career dating world all that stuff being a single mom like yes he lives here but she's not with him so they I, I classify her as single you know and he's gonna move out eventually this is not a you know a long-term thing but you know he's here so she's still single and oh my gosh Duke do you not know how to go to the bathroom what is going on this is a madhouse <laughs> hey Marco can you um let your dog out please so he doesn't poop on my floor he's gonna lecture him about the bark and be like hey don't bark in this house we're not at home you can't do that and I think that he's gonna just tell um Duke to go potty as well so I'm glad that he's getting on his dog and kind of letting him know the rules he's like you you don't do that that's bad <laughs> and um who's here right now Marcus Harkins I don't I don't know you Marcus I don't know why you came by everybody has a sketch pad now <laughs> can you go away Thanks. <laughs> but um, Marco just finished dinner. So I guess he I guess he'll come back and get his plate here in a minute. I'm starting to see like tendencies of Marco where he kind of is forgetful or he just leaves things around like, um, I'm not trying to clean up after you, sir. But Gabby knows that she has a long day of work tomorrow. Now Marco needs to go back in here and clean up his plate. Maybe we can get him into the habit of cleaning up after himself. He's exhausted as well. And I don't know if he has work he does have work tomorrow also so he won't be here either so poor little Aldo is going to be by himself oh my gosh the toilet's broken do you think you can fix this Marco he's cleaning up he's so sweet I'm glad he's helping out a little bit um but let's see if Marco can actually fix the toilet since he broke it <laughs> I don't think he did it intentionally. Maybe the toilet's just cheap. But Aldo, did you finish your homework, son? Why is it taking you so long? Do you have a lot on your mind? Uh, he just comes in here and sits on the floor and talks to his dad. <laughs> so cute. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day and Gabby is smelling something fierce. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, my bathroom is such a mess. These boys are driving me crazy. She is going to go in here and just take a relaxing bath. Today's Saturday, so I think that Eldo could do well by doing some chores around the house. And I don't know if I'm going to have Gabby go out and party tonight. I think it would be really nice to see her go out and party, but you know, I feel like she's just going to kick it back this time again and just spend New Year's Eve with her family. And it's crazy to say that because her family is actually complete at the moment. Like we have her son and her son's father here. And I think that we could give Aldo a really great holiday by having both his parents in the house. So I'm going to, you know, just kick it and kick it at home there this New Year's Eve. Eve, but I do want to get Gabby started on some of her work tasks. So we have to reach level six writing, which is intense. We have to reach level five in charisma and update our social media status. And I thought that she did all of this in college, <laughs> but I guess not. So we have a lot of work ahead of us to actually do well in our job. I mean, we're already getting paid 132 an hour, so that's pretty good. But I'm going to have Gabby come on out here into her little office space and sit down and do some work today. What is that? What am I doing out here? Gabriella is caught outside in a freezing blizzard. Girl, you better not run in them hills. You might slip. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> this little shovel I can't <laughs> um but at least she's inside now she did step in some dog poop on the way out but oh what excuse me <laughs> Y'all, when did my dog get pregnant? <laughs> Who is my dog pregnant by? 
Duchess is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. I can just hear Gabby now. What? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. What? Duchess. Does she need help? Do I have to help her? Or she does, she does this on her own? Um... Duchess, are you okay? <laughs> when did you get pregnant? Um, aside from that, I am going to have Gabby come out here and work on her writing a little bit because girl, <laughs> we need to do this. <laughs> and let me find Duchess really quickly. I have no idea how long this even takes for her to have the, this baby. When did she get pregnant? Does she even look pregnant? Do dogs look pregnant in The Sims? Is she following? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm almost speechless. I'm over here just rambling because I have no idea what to say. <laughs> We're gonna have puppies in the house. I have goosebumps going all over my body. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited though. All right, so now that we have Aldo up, I want him to clean. I don't know if he can, I don't think he can clean. What? Okay, so we'll just have to have Marco clean up the house. The only reason I left this was because I thought that Aldo could clean, but I guess he can't. So uh, Marco is going to come through and clean up the mess a little bit. So that way Gabby isn't freaking out because, you know, it was just her and Aldo for the longest time. So I'm sure having all these extra bodies in here makes more of a mess and we don't want her kicking us out or anything. So yeah, we're going to make sure that we keep it pristine in this house <laughs> because we do not want to get the boot from Gabby. I don't think she'd do it anyway, but you know, just to be safe. Um, Aldo, <laughs> what's everybody doing this? He's doing the little shuffle too. Y'all like it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the little shovel on the snow. <laughs> He's coming out here to talk to his mom. What are these perks? Good company. Sims appreciate being around someone they adore. And central heating. Yes, of course we have central heating. Who does she adore? I guess it's because of Marco's crush. Oh my gosh. I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do? Well, um, get the ninja outfit out. <laughs> Oh gosh. And guys, I don't know if you remember these postcards, but Marco gave Gabby postcards forever ago and she kept them. She just thought they were cute. You know how you have pictures of your friends and you're like, oh, I'll hang these up just to have something up. That's what she did. She hung up these postcards and I don't know if Marco has seen them yet or not, but as soon as he sees those pictures, I feel like that's going to go to his head because we don't discuss it much. We haven't discussed it much is what I'm trying to say. But Marco does have feelings for Gabby. He has a little tiny pinch of feeling for her, but he loves her in general just because she's the mother of his child and she's been his friend for years. But the actual like love, love, like he wants to be in a romantic relationship with her has also now popped up. So he's very indecisive as to what he wants. He doesn't even know if calling off his engagement was the right thing, but he feels like it was probably the best for right now. Um, I don't really know what I have planned for them today. <laughs> I kind of just thought I was going to jump in, record, and it would just all come to me, but I'm struggling right now. Um, but I do want to have, oh, puppy is here. Um, what do I want to call her? Uh, Brenda. <laughs> come here, Brenda. <laughs> no. Um, let's name her. Oh, that's my other. Um, I have no idea. Mika. That's cute. We'll name her Mika. Oh my gosh. There's another puppy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grover. <laughs> No, y'all. There's three puppies. I can't do this. We have a full household. Ah! <laughs> All these puppies. I gave them random names, but y'all, look at these dogs. Look at these dogs. Oh my gosh, are they Dukes? Dukes puppies? How do I see? How do I figure this out? How do I figure out who the father is? <laughs> um, we have Speckles. We got Mika. And we have a little Grover. Now, I think that Aldo would want to keep every single one of these puppies, but y'all need to help me decide. Who am I keeping and who am I getting rid of? We can only keep one, okay? Just one dog. So you let me know down below. I feel like Mika might be the best one to keep because Mika just has very different... <laughs> very different coat patterns so I don't know let me know what you guys think I can't keep all three of these puppies <laughs> Gabby would literally lose her mind <laughs> so let me know what y'all want do y'all want to keep Grover do you want to keep Speckles or do you want to keep Mika Mika Moo that's her name too Mika Moo <laughs> I think she's so cute and yeah I'm pretty sure that Duke is the father like a hundred percent sure <laughs> is our microwave broken 
Uh, no, it's just the snow. Okay. I was like, I know nobody's used that microwave, but y'all, we have puppies. Puppies! Be friendly with Marco. Sure, Gabby. <laughs> um, let's check back out here with Gabby and see how she's doing with her skills. It doesn't look like she's doing too well. So I'm actually going to have Gabby go to work today. Hopefully going to work will... Oh, no, ma'am. What is this? We're going to have to fix this real quick. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about Gabby's work outfit now. I might change it later, obviously. But look at how cute she looks, y'all. We got a hat to match her little outfit she has. And then she has these cute little heels. They're not what I was really envisioning for this outfit, especially since it's cold outside right now. But, you know, we're going to make it work. She looks adorable. And hopefully, you know, if you look good, you feel good. So that's my thing. And hopefully, since she looks good, she'll feel good at work today. Um, okay. What, what's happening? Is that Duchess and Duke fighting? Are they woohooing again? What's happening, y'all? I'm so confused. I see dogs flying. <laughs> what's going on? Um, I don't know if they woohooed or what, but I really feel like we probably need to get them fixed. <laughs> and we're going to send um, Marco to work because he is running a little late. I apparently missed them going to work entirely. So <laughs> we're going to send him on his way now. And I wonder if he and Thomas are ever going to like bump into each other and have problems. Hopefully not. You know, hopefully Thomas and him just kind of stay away from each other. Oh, look, Amber's coming. <laughs> but oh, okay. Sorry, Amber. <laughs> Oops. But hopefully he has a good day at work as well. We've got Eldo at home today. So apparently he got some homework on his break. So I'm going to have him sit down and work on his homework as well. I keep thinking that I'm trying to get this done and it just will not finish. So hopefully he'll finish up this homework this time around because he, he almost finished it last time and then he just walked away and stopped doing it. I don't know why. But um, yeah, hopefully he'll finish that. And then we need to take care of the puppies because they're all over the place right now. Um, maybe we can talk to them. Them, but I also don't want Aldo to get too attached to them, especially little Mika. I hope y'all want me. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> what? What? Marco has met Thomas while at work. My worst nightmare. <laughs> has just happened. Like, Marco has feelings for Gabby a little bit, and he just meets him at work now. Marco knows who Thomas is, but he's never seen him. Gabby's never given away detail of like what he looks like, you know, where he works, anything like that. So I feel like those two, I, I hope they don't fight. I hope, I mean, that would be childish. And Thomas is way older than that. He may be like, well, you don't mean to live with your baby daddy. Why didn't you just say that kind of thing? But he's not going to fight Marco. And Marco is definitely not in that lifestyle anymore. So I don't think he's going to fight him either. But just like... What? Out of all the people he could have met at work, I was trying to get him to socialize, to make new friends, and he meets Thomas. Why? And he hasn't met anyone else since since that. So why can't we meet someone else? <laughs> this is crazy. So Gabby and Marco both just got home. They kind of got here at the same time. It's really weird to see them walking in the door together because my mind was like, oh my God, I started shipping them, obviously. And, you know, she's just asking him, she's like, hey, how was work? And, you know, are you settling in and everything? And he's like, yeah, I actually met somebody today. And she's like, oh, that's good. You know, I think that you should make new friends and kind of get out and socialize. And as she was walking away, he's like yeah his name was Thomas and she didn't even hear him so I don't really know like what she would honestly think if you know Marco did start talking to Thomas she'd probably be like oh that's kind of weird like I don't know how would you feel if your your baby daddy moved in with you right and you just broke up with your ex and then your ex found out that you two were living together and he's talking to your baby daddy like it's just a lot that's a lot I would I would not be able to handle it I feel like this is too much like let's not do this right now um Gabby's hungry so I'm gonna have her grab some leftovers and oh, gosh that's really weird <laughs> and Marco's just kind of sitting here like why didn't she want to talk to me like that's weird but he's also getting the idea like he's getting too comfortable so I hope that he kind of realizes that he's just living with Gabby it's nothing serious like this is a temporary situation and yeah he just he needs to accept the fact that she's not willing to be in a relationship with him um but I am gonna have him grab something to eat really quickly maybe get some leftovers it looked like he was gonna adjust the 
the board, but we're gonna not mess with that right now. <laughs> um, he's gonna grab some dinner and kind of get ready for bed. And I think I'm gonna have Gabby do the same thing. She's exhausted. And, you know, she's just, oh, she's in love with the puppy. And it's Mika. Oh, wait, there's another puppy over here. So I have no idea who she, who she was looking at, but you know, Mika's here. <laughs> Let's see if we can potty train her really quickly. Can you go potty outside for me? <gasps> Is she going? We might have to keep her if she actually uses the bathroom. Look at her. Y'all know y'all want Mika. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh. She's gonna go to the bathroom right here on the step. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap this part up right here. Um, I kind of just wanted today to be like a free episode to kind of give you guys time to leave your comments. Oh, she's still wearing Diego's clothes. Do you miss him, honey? Do you want to call him next episode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little time to process what happened in the last episode and to give me your comments on how you feel about Marco living here and everything and kind of leave your thoughts as to what you think is going to happen between them. Do you guys think they're going to end up dating or getting back together or is this going to drive them apart? Like, what do y'all think? Leave your comments down below. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. <laughs> These two are so cute. It's so nice seeing Marco in the house. So I got to let you know because, you know, Aldo has both his parents here. Also, side note before I end this, if anybody is wondering about Eldo's eyebrows, I have no idea. They keep changing colors. <laughs> At first, I thought it was his rebellious thing, but no, I think it's something to do with my CC. But yeah, his eyebrows keep changing colors on his own. Um, but yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave your comments down below. And yeah, I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.